So the full-on PR campaign for 50,000 Muslim migrants being rushed into Canada has begun. On Saturday, the large TV news station in Toronto called CP24 interviewed one such family. Well, not quite. No women were allowed, just the men in the family. Why is that? I'm guessing it's because in places like Syria, women really aren't allowed to talk. That's a man's place. Or maybe the women here wore niqabs, and so it was decided they would project the wrong look if they went on TV. But who knows? To quote Justin Trudeau, it's 2015. But here the refugees were just a bunch of Muslim men. It wasn't a particularly illuminating interview, although there were a couple of Allah Akbars. So by grace of Allah, uh, when we were in Turkey, we knew about it. Uh, there's nothing you can do can just pray Allah, pray God that you will be fine. And there was this funny part. You know, we're looking at some pictures right now, and, and Canadians, for the most part, they, they only see these pictures. They, they, they can't experience what, what it's been like for you. How long were you in that camp for, and, and what was it like? You know, you've got two young, really young children here, and your, your boy as well. Um, what was the most difficult part for you living in that camp? Okay. Actually, we were out the camps, you know. We were, I mean, uh, at uh, uh, at the city we came, uh, uh, but my mother at the camp, my uh, sister also at the mm. camp. So I visited uh, them. Hang on, so these men actually weren't in a refugee camp? So, so they had moved to Turkey and had settled in Turkey. They were living there now. Uh, they visited his sister and mother who were still in a refugee camp, but the sister and mother is still there, but the men came over to Canada. Women are back there. Does anyone else find it odd that young, able-bodied Muslim men are coming to Canada, not from Syria, not from a refugee camp in Turkey, but just from some Turkish town? The older son told a story about how his old school back in Syria was bombed. But that was years ago back in Syria. He's coming to us from... Turkey, which is a democracy, a NATO country, not my kind of place, but a place where a family of men who say praise Allah all the time, well, they'd fit right in there. So first of all, what are we doing bringing these people in? They were refugees once, but they're not refugees now. They're settled in Turkey. Second, what kind of men are these who would leave their mother and sister behind in squalor, but hop on a plane themselves? Oh, I know. Now, all they need to do, you know that when these families arrived in Canada, they need the moral support, financial support, because they are uh, homeless for a year or a couple years, and they need uh, to establish themselves. They need every kind of support. And what we are doing from our community, and the Muslim Jamaat is also helping by donating the household items, furnitures, and all other uh, things that we can do, for example, transport or going to the government offices uh, for their SIN number, for their health card, for their other uh, needs, we support them. Yeah, got it. That's the kind of men they are. Men who are not fleeing any danger anymore. Men who are living in Turkey now, but men who leave their mother and sister behind because now in Canada they get the free stuff. Got it. Pretty much the opposite of our Canadian notion of ladies first, Pretty much the opposite of our notion of refugees. But hey, I bet they'll vote for Justin Trudeau in the next election, don't you? And that's the whole point here. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant.